Hi there, I'm Alicia and I'm here to teach Lesson 2 of the Art Compass Academy. As a junior embryologist who has been working here for just over a year, one of the first things I learned was the vital importance of different buffers in IVF culture media. It's fascinating that so many scientists have worked hard to make sure that this media is as close as possible to replicating the human fallopian tube and uterine environment. Embryo culture media is a crucial component in the process of in vitro fertilization. The optimal development of embryos requires precise culture conditions, including the pH level of the media. The pH level of the culture media must be within a specific range to support embryo development, and deviations from this range can have negative impacts on embryo quality and pregnancy outcomes. The optimal pH range for embryo development is between 7.2 and 7.4, which is slightly alkaline. Changes in pH can affect cellular processes, such as enzyme activity and cell division, which can lead to abnormal development, reduced implantation, and lower pregnancy rates. pH imbalances can also lead to embryo arrest, increased chromosomal abnormalities, and decreased blastocyst formation. Cell culture buffers have a long-running history that began in the early 1900s. Basic salt solutions like ringers and tyrodes were initially used, but they proved inadequate for sustaining cell growth and survival. In the 1940s, Earl's Balanced Salt Solution was developed with a complex combination of salts, amino acids, vitamins, and glucose to more accurately reflect cells' environment in vivo. Zwitter ionic buffers are a type of buffer solution that contains both the positive and negative ion within the same molecule. This unique property allows Zwitter ionic buffers to resist changes in pH over a broader range than traditional buffers, making them highly effective in biological and biochemical applications. Zwitter ionic buffers do not need carbon dioxide gas. They are meant to be used with cells in room air. A widely used Zwitter ionic cell culture buffer is Keeps, which was first introduced in 1966 by Good et al. as a replacement for bicarbonate buffer in cell culture media. Heaps has become popular due to its high buffering capacity at physiological P8, its compatibility with a wide range of cell types, and its ability to maintain pH over a broad temperature range. Heaps buffered media is commonly used in IVF labs for procedures performed outside of a gassed isolate, such as egg retrievals. The Zwitter ionic buffer family that includes Heaps became known as Goods buffers. Norman Good tested them in the 1960s. Aside from being excellent buffers, Goods buffers are also highly water soluble and have a low toxicity making them ideal for use in biological assays and cell culture. Goods buffers are optimized for different pH ranges. MES is a Goods buffer optimized for use in the pH range of 5.5 to 7.0, while MOPS is optimized for a pH range of 7 to 8. Thanks for joining us for part one of lesson two. Don't forget to log into the web-based Art Compass to download your certificate and claim CEUs. In part two, we will cover more specifics about embryo culture media and pH.